A few meters off one of Bali's tropical beaches lies a coral garden with a difference. These reefs are electric. Low voltage electricity, too weak to give anything a shock, is passed through steel structures, and this makes coral grow up to six times faster than normal. The project was started in 2000 after high sea temperatures and destructive fishing caused the coral here to die. Now there are more than 60 structures covered in marine life in the bay. There was rubble and sand, that was it. And so when we started the project, um, I was hoping it will all survive. And 11 years later now, it was fantastic. Getting the community on board was a priority. Local staff now run the project and look after the man-made reefs. Every time I go diving, I have to check also how about the health of the coral. Sometimes we have a, a small snail, a drupella, where it's uh, eating the coral. We have to take it out. The easy access to the coral garden and its novelty also mean visitor numbers are up. Tourists can even sponsor new corals and have their names integrated into the structures. We read about the project here and we decided we loved the snorkel, so we wanted to see what was happening and if it was really working on it. It is. <laughs> and there are wider implications too. Rises in sea temperature are damaging reefs across the world. Biorock says the coral survival rate is up to 50 times higher with this technology. That system can be applied anywhere in the world, and it should be. Here in Bali, the plan is now to switch to using green energy, an apt way to protect coral reefs, often called the rainforests of the sea.